your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Got a baby man sleeping in the sun. Is he sleeping like a baby? You wanna come with me to show everyone my makeup closet? Hello everyone, I am standing in my new beauty room and I'm all organized. Like all of my stuff, all of my makeup, well not everything in this house, but all of my makeup is organized. It has a place, it has a home. I honestly never thought this day would come. So the fact that it did and I've been in this house under a year is like, so therapeutic for me and my soul so i'm so excited to show you guys my makeup collection this has been a long time coming i never actually got to organize all of my makeup in my last house um what i was dreaming to do in my last house i ended up doing here which is amazing and i cannot wait to show you guys everything so this is me warning you now that yes i have a ton of stuff like a ridiculous amount of stuff maybe one day i'll use everything in that closet but until then if you guys want to see my makeup collection then please keep watching. So eventually I'm gonna show you my entire beauty room, but until it's done, I bring to you my makeup closet. So while we're over here, this is my camera shelves. So I was really excited to do this in my closet because I have a lot of cameras, as you can see. So when they're all out on display, I can see what I have and actually use a bunch of them. Quickly, I wanted to show you guys, look how cute. This was my first ever business card from so long ago. Well, not my first ever one, but one of my first ever ones. So cute. So over here you can see, I did like almost like a mini kitchen type of vibe for my closet. I had the Ikea drawers forever and they were all falling apart from all of my moves. So I figured I would splurge and just do it the right way. So I have this really pretty quartzite top and I found this backsplash and I just fell in love with it. I ended up doing it in my kitchen as well. So first I'm just gonna show you guys like, here I have my little knobs, like I did all the crystal knobs and I also did the crystal handles for all of my drawers. So I got to kind of like draw out this whole thing and measure out like what types of drawers that I wanted. You could see a lot of them are thinner. I didn't want anything too thick because then I would have like so many things on top of each other and I just wanted it all to like fit nicely and be able to see everything. So first I'm going to show you this cabinet because it's literally my favorite. Every time I open it I have to go like, ah. So once you open it, you can see this is my glow cabinet. So all my body bronzers, body makeup, all of that good stuff. Every time I open it I just like cry a little bit inside. So I have... My favorites are definitely the Fenty, the Bot Vita Liberata Body Blur is like all time favorite. Fenty Beauty is amazing. I love the new Patrick Ta items. This Sephora I have had for a while. It's like a really pretty like natural glow. Haven't tried these two yet. Um, you guys know I love the Bondi Sands, so I'm excited to try these shimmer ones. I also am waiting to try the Huda Beauty. I didn't try that yet. So here I have some lipsticks. By the way, like all these MAC lipsticks I've had for like years. Um, obviously they're not cruelty free, but I still like how it looks on display. And then up here I have all this amazing cruelty free hair care. All of this I actually bought myself. I love the R Co brand. I just think their packaging is just so adorable and so cute like look at this so these little white things that they're on i got from container store because i wanted to be able to like see all of the packaging and then over here i have some igk products as well which i also love and they are also cruelty free which is amazing so i love like this middle part here i think it's like everything and then up here i have some of my pranava bracelets my pr box from my palette and then this little pretty box up there. So I'm sure I'm gonna rearrange all of that. But for now it has a home and I'm happy with how this area looks. So moving on, by the way, my nails, oh my God. I had a photo shoot so I was like, you know what, let me be a little crazy and get some nails, but I'm already over them. So this cabinet right here is still kind of like a work in progress, but I wanted to show you guys the liner part because I thought this was so cool. These are like little individual, like four drawers. 
So I have all different lip liners in here and then the ones that were too long to fit in those drawers are just like in this little container here. And here I have this little acrylic organizer with some individual shadows and all of that. And then what I did up here was I put all of my Morphe palettes, pulled out my step stool so I can show you <laughs> some of these palettes. I have the Jaclyn Hill vault. I have like the regular palettes. And then these are like more of the newer ones. I had so many that I had to get rid of that they were, they were just like too old. But um, I have, of course, the Jaclyn Hill palette up here. And I have, where is the James Charles one? There's two big ones. Why do I have two? Okay, so this isn't his. This is James. So I have James Charles under here. And we all know how amazing this one is. So again, another work in progress. I can't show you the bub one because I have um, my collab that's coming up there. Can you guys tell I love the Fiona Styles Foundation? When I heard that they were discontinuing it, I was like, oh hell no, and I went crazy and I bought a lot, a lot, a lot. So then in this cabinet over here, I have a lot of my collabs. <laughs> Cindy, what are you doing? I love, oh my God. What are you doing? I'm trying to show everyone what's inside my cabinet, girl, come on. Come on, princess. You could stay over here. So I have all my Jeffree Star stuff up here. I have Bretman when he did the ColourPop collab. I have that in there as well. And then I have my palettes like lined up in here. So I have the Nicole Guerrero Mom Anastasia kit. This was amazing. I bought like 10 of them. So I have like stock because I knew it was gonna be like a limited edition thing. We have Shan's palette from BH. Love her, she's the sweetest ever. Who else? We have um, Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collection. We have Karen's collab. I love the packaging of this. Shayla's collab with uh, ColourPop. Oh my girls. And Urban Decay, Kristen Leanne. It's my Ray Ray and BH palette, which I love. I did um, like a galaxy inspired makeup look with that palette. And then I have the Jeffree Star. I think these are the highlighter palettes. And then I have the Desi Katie Dose of Colors collab, which is awesome. And then Beauty Bird and Sigma's palette as well. Also like the Desi Katie. I love the packaging of these. These are so beautiful. And Bretman's two ColourPop palettes, which are so cute. Over here, I have, oh, I have a couple more. These are Shayla's newer ColourPop collabs. So let me bring you back over here for a minute. This big organizer right here is all ColourPop stuff, which is so cool. So let me just show you. Oh. <laughs> So then in here, color pops, liquid lipsticks, um, basically every color you can see it's like triple layered. I have some of the collabs as well. And here we have the different blushes and some loose eyeshadows. So then we have some more lips, um, the lippy sticks. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the lippy sticks. And then we have their liners, like eyeliners. So under here is open as well. So it's kind of just like whatever looks pretty. There's so much room back there that is like wasted space as of right now. So I have the KKW lipsticks, the KKW fragrance fragrances, which I really like. And then let's get to the good stuff, the drawers. Starting over here, I have last draw number one. These are like my most used lashes. These right here are like my life, double 113s. These are my absolute go-to favorites. I also love, of course, the Ardell Wispies. I have my Christina WSP lashes, which I love. I love the House of Lashes Iconic. These are what I'm wearing actually right now. And then I also have the House of Lashes, the light version. And then we all have another drawer. We have some Lily lashes. Huda Beauty Samantha lashes, which I love. I have Velour. Some of these are so old. Like my MAC ones are so old, but you know, they're cute. So I kept them. I think there's one more last drawer. Oh no, okay. So this drawer now is my eyebrow drawer. So I got rid of like all of the products I didn't use. Like if you guys saw what I had before, this is a lot of stuff, but it's at least like half or like more than half gone. So these are all my Anastasia brow products. I have like the Brow Wiz, the um, pomades, 
all of those and I just kept them in my color I used to have like every single color but what I did was I made like a little bin of um, the other colors that I don't use that way when my friends come over or for giveaways and stuff like that I can give them away so we do have another lash drawer here so this is like the deeper one so you can see these top three are pretty thin, which I love because you're not gonna have so many things just stacked on top of each other. And then the bottom one is even larger, so you can fit more deep things in there. So in here I have all my primers and setting sprays. I have to go through a lot of this and get rid of some more stuff, but for now it's all, it all has a home, which is nice, so. I don't know, with these nails I just wanna like touch things and make these noise. So then moving on to this section, the first drawer, oh. I have my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks over here. I have my Buxom glosses all over here and here. I have some other brands mixed in like Lime Crime, Mellow, my Becca glosses, which I love. Second drawer, same thing. Everything is pretty much by brand, which is awesome. Oh my God, look at this blue one though. I have a lot of the stuff I haven't even swatched yet. I have to swatch some of these. This is amazing. Um, I love Pat McGrath. She's like the sweetest ever and her products are incredible. All my Anastasia liquid lips, glosses, Dose of Colors, Bite Beauty, Gerard Cosmetics, Stellar, and Il Maquillage. The next two drawers, like prepare. Just prepare yourself because, oh my sweet baby Jesus. So this drawer, can we just take a minute just so aesthetically pleasing from my soul and my heart. So what's so amazing is these lip holders, I have one, two, and three, they fit exactly into my drawers and that wasn't even intended. You couldn't have fit, like it doesn't even move forward at all. Like that's how perfect it fits in my drawer, which is amazing. I have, I think it's like 48 lipstick holders. So I have three of those and then I have the little acrylic ones as well. One more drawer like this. I have my Anastasia lipsticks and of course other brands, my Gerard Cosmetics. So down here I have all of my palettes, well most of my palettes. So I have Manny looking at me, I love this packaging. His palette right here, so cute. And then I also have, I tried to do it by um, brand, so that way if I was looking for a specific palette I could find it. So I have his other two palettes right underneath there. I have my Dominique Cosmetics right here, the Snoo Prisma Glow, which I love. I have the Too Faced, the White Peach, the other peach um, matte palette, which I love. I have Huda Beauty under here. I have my more expensive palettes out in another drawer, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But um, I have some ColourPop palettes back here. I have my Flower Beauty back here. Uh, my Illuminate Cosmetics from Ashley Tisdale, which I love. <gasps> Sinner, are you gonna help mommy? You gonna help mommy, you little cute baby? <laughs> I have Kat Von D over here, and then I have all of my Z palettes stacked on top of each other. They're all like mixed brands. I had them kind of by colors at one point, but they're all kind of like mixed right now. Um, so it goes pretty deep down, like you could see. So there's probably like 10 of those. There, I have ColourPop, Anastasia. I have this Inglot palette. I made this so long ago. Like, they don't even have this store anymore in the mall that I got it from. And then I have um, this BH palette and then my Violet Boss palettes underneath, like, all stacked as well. So, oh, the, oh, I have the Laura Lee palette under there. Look how cool this Krylon palette is, guys. It's neon, UV. Yeah, I need to try these. I wonder if they glow in the dark another Dominique Cosmetics and then under here I have so I have these really cute Urban Decay palettes stacked on top of each other and then I have all of my Too Faced palettes so the chocolate palettes all those down there look at this one by the way this is like the Tamana Dress Your Face Anastasia and M. Resi. these are so old could you believe I still have these Amra and then Maya Mia palette. These are like the older Anastasia ones. The newer ones I have out in another drawer, which I'll show you guys. And then I have all of the naked palettes like stacked on top of each other as well. How cute is this naked three palette? Oh, and then I also, look what I have still. Um, when Nikki Tutorials did her collab with, I think it was Too Faced. So 
So as you guys can see, I like to keep a lot of things that are, you know, old, but they're collabs and they were like one of a kind things. So I of course wanted to keep them. Oh, and I think I have Mario's palette under here as well. Yes. When Mario did his palette with Anastasia so long ago. Okay, moving on to this drawer. So this is like cream contours pretty much. Um, holy crap, like LA girl, do I need all of these? Absolutely not. I had probably triple the amount of this, but I love the LA girl pro conceals. They're so affordable and they're just amazing. The cream shade and light palette, Velvet 59 cream contour palette, which is a lot of like the cream contours. I have the Morphe, uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I have a lot of these TV paint sticks from Krylon that I've been dying to try that I never tried. Every time I watch like a drag tutorial and they use that, I'm always like, all right, I need it, I need it. I buy like every color so I have them. I just haven't gotten around to trying them yet, so I definitely need to. So next, we have some highlighters. All the Becca ones together. I do have, of course, a lot of like MAC stuff still, so they're all kind of pretty much together. And then here we have loose shimmer highlighters and some cream highlighters. So we have like all the Artist Couture highlighters, which are so amazing. Um, I have like the palette ones back there and the rainbow highlighter, which is so cool. And then in this drawer, I have blushes, blush palettes, just a lot of stuff. And then down here, just kind of like excess of stuff. So like I have some highlighters over here. I have some cream, like the Cover FX cream um, uh, foundations down here. I have some like liquid illuminators, like the iconic London the Cover FX drops and stuff. So I have all my Anastasia glitters. And then quickly over here, cause I'm sure probably you guys saw this. So Bella Me actually made me custom hair extensions cause my hair was too long for all of their extensions. So no, it's not like a collab or anything, but they made me my own box. So I thought that was so cute. And then over here I have some more lipsticks in the little lipstick trays. Cause you know, I don't have enough lipsticks. I have these Stila, um, like eyeshadow, I don't know if, what you wanna call them, like liquid eyeshadows, I guess. They're so amazing. And here I have cream colors. So I have the Anastasia ones, which are like old, like a couple years old at this point, but again, I'll never get rid of them. And then I have like other brands mixed in. And then in here, I have some loose pigments, some loose glitters. And then down here, I have more pigments. A lot of these are like my MAC ones, but like these are so old. Like, let me show you one that I can just show you like how old, like look at this. This is honestly dead ass. Like you can't even see the um, the brand anymore. Like it's all rubbed off. Like that's how old some of these are. Like since I was freelancing, which was eight years ago, which is probably gross, but I don't care. I'm keeping them. I want your guys' opinion. I was thinking of putting this organizer. I was thinking of putting that over here. So when you walk in, like that's the one you see because it has the crystals and then maybe moving the bigger one over here. So just let me know like your opinion. Hello princess, you're so cute. You're such a cute girl, I love you. So let's do the last round of drawers. So in here I have mascaras, I have colored liners, I have black liners, I have liquid liners. Some more liquid liners, my glitter liners. Oh my God, you guys have no idea how amazing these Urban Decay glitter liners are. I was playing with them the other day and I was just like, wow, these are insane. So I have all like liners and everything in this drawer. Next up, we have concealers. A lot of these are not new. Like, you know, NARS before they went cruelty free, I have all of those. Um, some Becca concealers, of course, all my shape tape, Urban Decay, like the naked ones. I have some Cover FX drops, um, Flower Beauty, ColourPop, Kat Von D. So now in here, I have powders. I have compact like powder foundations. I have the Physician Formula ones, and then I have the, I think these are, yes, the Tarte powders. LA Girl powders, like all foundation powder. I love these, like the banana powders, all of those are my favorite. And then next, I have bronzers, and mostly bronzers, and some more powders, and foundation powders, and stuff that just really didn't fit, like the powders that didn't fit in the other drawer. I had like doubles of these, so these are these, but they're still in their packaging because I loved how it looked, like all the colors together. My OCD just wanted to keep it like that. And 
Benefits not cruelty free, but they sent me this a while ago and I thought it was so cute so I had to keep it. A lot of these are so old. Oh my God, this Sonia Kashuk bronzer is like, look at this, 2013. I should probably get rid of this. And then last but not least, I have my foundation drawer. So again, I need to go through this. There's obviously so much foundation. I have all like the Flower Beauty foundations that I got from Drew. I love her. We have the CoverGirl foundations, which I love. We have the Too Faced. All right, well, I'm trying to show them to you, but they're all like coming apart. So these LA Girl came out with these mixing foundations and I haven't tried them yet, but they have all different colors. So you can mix together and get your perfect shade. So they had like blue, they had white, um, orange. And then here I have all my stellar foundations, which I really love as well. I've been using these a lot. These, the Il Maquillage and the Fiona Styles are like my current favorites. So I literally just got home from the gym and I hated how this area looked when I was editing it, so don't mind me, but I just redid it and I thought it looked a little bit prettier now. So I'm gonna show you the little update. So I, my dad did these like mirror and glass shelves and I didn't really know what to put on them. Originally I was gonna put some of those cameras on here, but I kind of like how it looks right now. Of course I had to put my plaque from when I hit 100,000 subscribers, which is so cute. And yeah, so this is this little area over here. And then under here, all like accessories and other camera equipment. So I have this like huge Oribe. Look at this. It's like this huge Oribe uh, hairspray bottle. So yeah, I just have like a bunch of other camera equipment. Charge batteries. So whenever I'm done filming, just charge some batteries, throw everything in here. So all my filming equipment is in here. Plus um, like stabilizers. I have a drone, another drone in there. So that is my makeup. Cl Oh, excuse you. So this is my makeup closet. It is everything I could have ever dreamed of and more. These lights up here I got from Horshow and I got them 30% off, so never pay full price. They always have discounts. And then the guy who built this for me, he also did my attic door in that shiny material, which I just love. I really wanted something different. It was my dad's idea when he did my closet to do like this really high gloss shiny material. So when I had a guy come in to do this closet, I had him do the same stuff. And like, as you can see, or can, maybe you can't, I had them do change all the molding. So this actually used to be a door, like a regular door. And I had them open it up into an entryway. That way it was just easier. So you could see they did like that high gloss all on the moldings. And they also did like my door. And I have this like pretty doorknob from, I believe it's M Tech. I got them all over my house. So that is it for my makeup closet. When my beauty room is officially done, I will give you guys like the full room tour. Out here where my actual vanity is, I'm not gonna show it to you yet cause it's not done, but I have more drawers and this is kind of like my favorite. I have like Natasha Denona out here. I have Anastasia. I have these new neon palettes. Down here, look, I have all my Kylie, Kylie and Kim stuff I had in one drawer because they just have so many, so many things. So yeah, these are all my makeup drawers. I'm gonna show you the whole room, my vanity, everything else once it is done. So that is it as far as my makeup collection tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it for you guys. I love just like coming up here and just like opening up drawers and just like feeling organized for the first time in probably like ever. I mean, I've been organized before, but I have an assistant now and she keeps me in check and I am so grateful for it. But I feel like I lost like 10, 20 pounds off of my shoulders because walking into like chaos and having boxes everywhere is just, it really is stressful and to have everything organized and in its own place is just, it's honestly therapeutic for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to go check out my Instagram right now because I have a huge giveaway for the next week. I was laying in bed the other night and I just thought of this idea and I thought it was a really cool idea. So definitely go check out my Instagram to see how you can win. I have a MacBook Pro, an Apple Watch 4, a GoPro, and like a bunch of makeup and a lot of fun other things. So definitely go check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.